Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif welcoming you to my new tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit uh, product photography. I have bought a new headphone which is Remax and uh, I got some picture at uh, home. Uh, the simple picture. Uh, I wanted to highlight my mm, the headphone and the pouch also and low light I have just uh, got this one and today I'll show you how to edit this type of photos and uh, how to make it the artistic uh, type editing I think this one is good this one is the raw file that means NEF file and that's why <laughs> the color is like that okay I'm dragging and dropping this image to the Photoshop into the Photoshop and then it will open in a camera raw filter if you are not using the uh, Photoshop CC version then camera raw won't work so be careful when you are using the Photoshop version it must be the creative cloud version it uh, could be the 60 uh, 17 version f uh, 14 version or 15 version but uh, it's uh, they must uh, have to be the creative cloud version uh, I got this picture by mm, the camera which is Nikon D610 and I'm just pressing over there opening image okay this is my photo I just got this picture in my table mm, which, uh, in the background uh, you were watching here is a monitor which is mm, which is HP and now I will make a layer by pressing ctrl J and then I'll go to filter and camera raw filter and I'll add some exposure over there and highlight I'll just reduce the highlight give some shadows and some blacks and blacks and a little bit minus six and I'll give some cool tone and I'll add some the contrast um, six plus six enough and clarity also variance saturation and I think I should reduce the variance okay then I'll go to the vignette option and I'll give minus eight uh, minus two three is enough okay and then I'll hit okay this one is the previous image and the present image and then I'll go to the color lookup option and then I'll add the Fuji filter mm, I'm just checking out which one is good okay I think horror blue is the best one okay horror blue and I will make it the soft light and reduce the opacity good and then I'll go to levels adjust the levels okay good and I'll go to curve here is curves and then I'll add some shadow the red curves I'll reduce the okay then green and lastly blue get and then I'll go to the gradient map add some gradient I'll change the gradient color violet to blue mm, the cyan is good and then make it the overlay uh, no I think soft light is good and reduce the opacity okay the changing of the, this one is the original image camera raw filter applied color lookup then levels then curves and then again gradient map and then I'll go to I'll select all the layers and make it group and control shift alter E for merge all the layers and then go to filter camera raw filter and I'll do color correction right now here is red okay orange I'll reduce I'll just give some yellow I'll reduce the yellow just because of the 
background here is a yellow paper and then green also blue and saturation I'll give some saturation and then reduce this one I think this one is the natural color okay and then hue hue should be like that luminance the blue reducing this one red here is some reddish yes exactly and then hit ok and I'll go to filter and the Nick collection color effects pro 4 I'll add this type of thing okay it's loading if your PC is low configured uh, make sure that uh, it will take time and so that's why I'll suggest to be use in the high configuration PC okay then I'll add some filter which is okay this one is good and hit okay then nice and then I'll go to the selective color and cyan I'll reduce the cyan and then the yellow also if you just black if you just uh, move this black option it will I want to highlight this back okay then blue so depends on black okay and then the red okay this color is good okay the magenta and the black also and then I'll go to the color lookup option and add some color uh, the artistic color which is okay this one is good and making your product highlighted and then I'll add some drama that's why I'll go to curve and select the curve and increase this one okay then I'll go to the solid color I'll use the blue yes this blue or this this one and I'll reduce the fill like that I'm giving extra effect over there this one is good I think and I'll take this layer below the curve okay and I'll select all the layers make it group and merge all the layers by pressing ctrl shift alter E and then let's see what was the image of our preview our first image and then this one this one and this one is the final output I think this one is more artistic than the previous uh, and it will attract your customer and um, yeah, it's a simple photography and uh, simple editing color correction you know, just artistic type so thank you so much thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting the new content and uh, don't forget to like share and comment below my video uh, if you have any type of question feel free to ask me thank you so much